Retinol is one of those ingredients in the skincare industry that is definitely praised for all of its benefits, but it seems like there's a lot of rules that go around starting it and how to use it correctly. So in this video, I'm going to break down a step-by-step -step guide on how to start using retinol if you're a beginner and you've never used it before. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kenna. If you're new here, then welcome. I'm a biochemist, a cosmetic formulator, and I make skincare and science and beauty videos here on YouTube and on Instagram. I post every Monday and Thursday, so if you're not already subscribed, please do so. I'd love to have you here. So today's video, we're gonna break down retinol for beginners, how to start using it if you've never started it before, because as it is such a great ingredient um, in skincare products for really anti-aging properties, reducing fine lines and wrinkles, uh, reducing hyperpigmentation, and evening out skin tone and texture, it also can be quite irritating and you have to build up a tolerance for it within your skin so that you can start using it more frequently. So first off, I'm going to just start with a couple of like housekeeping rules about retinol and then we're going to go through kind of a plan to start using it correctly. So housekeeping rules, definitely, definitely. Number one, you want to be applying retinol on dry skin or on top of a moisturizer when you're starting out. Number two, you have to make sure that you are wearing SPF every single day. You should be anyways, but retinol does make your skin more sensitive to sun, to the sun. So if you're trying to use it for hyperpigmentation or fine lines or wrinkles or evening out skin tone and texture, all of that work that's being done by the retinol is going to be reversed and even made worse by exposure to the sun. So just make sure you're wearing an SPF and reapplying it during the day. Next is we're gonna just start off by wearing our retinol at night. That's the best time to wear it. So it can really work its magic while you sleep. And then lastly, do not combine retinol with other active ingredients such as vitamin C or alpha hydroxy acids. If you do use a salicylic acid wash, that's fine to use like a face wash, but don't use a leave-on product that has salicylic acid either. We wanna just be applying retinol as our only active ingredient, and I'm gonna give you examples of other skincare products that you can pair with it, like different moisturizers and stuff. Okay, so step one is gonna be selecting your retinol. So I've selected three here, and then I have a couple other recommendations. The first one that I do wanna show you is the CeraVe. This is the Resurfacing Retinol Serum. This one's really great because the formula is very, very gentle. Like if you've never started retinol, this is gonna be a good one. It's packed with ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide. So it's actually really soothing on the skin and it's gonna keep your skin nice and hydrated because retinol can dry out your skin. So this is definitely um, a great retinol for beginners. Another one that I would say is excellent for beginners and that is drugstore as well is from Verst. This is the Press Restart. Gentle Retinol Serum with Bacuchiol and Encapsulated Retinol. Again, just a very gentle formula um, to start out with. It is just formulated um, very gently so that you're gonna have less irritation and dryness and everything. So there's those two. And then another one that I really like and I found is really good if you are starting out with retinol is from City Beauty and this is their Advanced Retinol Serum. So it is a two step. Step one, restore. I don't know if you can see there. And step two, renew. So that's the step one and then the step two. So you apply step one and then step two. Anyways, this is just another one that I found to be really, really gentle, but also very effective as well. So those are my top three recommendations if you are starting out um, with retinol. I know that Neutrogena just launched a 0.5% retinol serum that's supposed to be really gentle. I haven't tried it out, but I would say that's probably another one to try if you're just starting. And then Paula's Choice has a lot of um, gentle retinol serums as well. So that's another brand that I would recommend if you are starting out on the retinol journey, which you are if you're watching this video. Okay, so now that you have your retinol, step two is I'm going to talk about a bit of a introduction plan for using it and building up a tolerance. So the first time you start using retinol, I would recommend for four weeks, just use it once a week and just see how your skin reacts to it. After those four weeks, then you can move up to twice a week and keep doing that for a few weeks and then slowly, slowly increase. So what month one would be once a week, month two would be twice a week, month three would be three times a week, month four, four times a week, month five, five times a week, and then you can start using it every night if you want to. 
I can use retinol every night if I want to, but I generally don't because I do like to use other active ingredients such as AHAs and I do like to let my skin just kind of have a nice hydrating serum and a moisturizer on it and no actives. Um, so right now I'm just using retinol every other night, which I think is a great routine and you're going to see a lot of benefits. Um, and you're not gonna see irritation, but you do have to build up to it. So again, just going over that one more time, month one, once a week, month two, twice a week, month three, three times a week. And from there, you can start to maybe do it every night or every other night. And you wanna space out those times. So month one would be do it every Sunday night. Month two would be do it every Sunday night and Thursday night. Month three, you can do it Sunday night, Tuesday night, Friday night, that kind of thing. So you wanna space it out still until you have built up that tolerance to using it every other night. Another thing that you can do to reduce irritation and dryness is you can do what is commonly called as a retinol sandwich where you apply a moisturizer and then you apply your retinol and then you apply a moisturizer again on top and that's just gonna really reduce any um, direct contact with your skin. You're still gonna get those benefits but it's gonna be very gentle. Typically retinol is just used on dry skin do not apply it onto wet skin because it actually can just penetrate deeper into your skin and cause more irritation. So after you've cleansed your face, if you do want to apply any hydrating serums, apply them, let your skin dry, apply the retinol, and then a moisturizer. If you are doing a retinol sandwich, cleanse your skin, apply any hydrating serums like hyaluronic acid or whatever, let that dry down, apply your moisturizer, apply your retinol, apply your moisturizer. It sounds complicated, but it's not, I promise. Once you start doing it, you'll be fine. And once you have built up that tolerance, you don't have to be so careful with, with all of that. I mean, I can throw it on just, you know, dry skin and then a moisturizer on top and you just start to get used to it. But you definitely don't want to just jump in full speed ahead because you can cause irritation and you can cause dryness. So just be cautious of that. The other thing is the amount that you want to use is a pea size amount. So if I take really just three quarters or a half squirt of um, the CeraVe, that is a pea size amount on the finger. It looks something like that. And you're gonna just apply it to your fingertips and start applying it everywhere that you want it. Do avoid getting it directly in your eyes and do avoid getting it directly on your lips. You can definitely use it around your lips, but don't put it like right on your lips, if that makes sense. It is also great to be bringing down the neck as well. And you can apply retinol anywhere on your body. Just make sure anywhere that you have applied it is covered with SPF if it's going to be exposed to the sun. Now I have four moisturizer recommendations to use with retinol that I find work really well um, and really do reduce any kind of dryness or irritation that could be associated with retinol. So just really quickly, I'm going to go through these recommendations. They're just really kind of thicker creams, really nice thick creams. Um, and if you do have dry skin, you're going to need this with your retinol for sure. So First, I did mention this uh, two videos ago in my summer 2020 favorites. This is the Bloom Cream Moisturizer from Beekman 1802. It is just a very neutral cream, but very, very rich and hydrating. And it's not gonna break you out or anything, but just super thick and luxurious to top over a retinol um, at nighttime. The other one that I really love is the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. It is green, but this one is just, again, a really nice cream to use at night that is thicker and you're going to keep your skin nice and hydrated and moisturized. Um, my next recommendation is from Emma Lewisham and this one is cool because it actually has refillable pods, love that, and it's called the Supernatural 72 Hour Hydration Face Cream. This is another one that is just like a nice really, you know, thick, you can see how thick it is there, thick cream but just really luxurious and nice. And then my last recommendation for a cream to pair with retinol would be the Biosauce Squalane Omega Repair Cream, just rich with ceramides and omega fatty acids and the squalene in there, so super moisturizing. So really overall, the key to starting retinol is to go really slow, to use very moisturizing products alongside it, and to just see how your skin reacts and tolerates it and start making adjustments accordingly. If you do um, use retinol just once and your skin freaks out, then wait a couple of weeks and then try, you know, helping it out with something like the retinol sandwich, like I mentioned, use a little bit less and start slowly building up that tolerance. Everyone's different. If you have like 
iron skin and some people do where you can just put anything on your face and you don't react you're lucky but a lot of people are really sensitive so you just want to be slow and make sure that you're paying attention to the cues and retinol does take a pretty long time to work you have to be using it for about like six months to really see the effects but once you start seeing them you won't go back because just the effect that it has on your skin tone and texture fine lines wrinkles hyperpigmentation everything it does make a huge difference but of course it goes alongside with having a regular skincare routine make sure your skin is making sure your skin is hydrated moisturized you're wearing that spf every day so those that's kind of my step-by-step -step guide i hope that was helpful if you do have any questions about starting retinol definitely leave them down in the comments below and I'll be sure to reply to them. And if you do have, if you have started this journey already and you have a favorite retinol serum that you used when you first started out, then definitely leave it in the comments below for other people to check out. All right guys, I hope that was really helpful for you. If you're not already, do follow me on Instagram because I do post there every day. And yeah, I hope this uh, was enjoyable to watch and that you learned something about starting retinol.